Have you ever wondered how Africa's products found their way into homes in the city, in neighboring countries, and across the world? Or how could you sell into these markets? Well, apart from the price, it's all about quality. So, what is quality and is it hard to achieve? The good news is there are people out there who make quality their lives. They drive what we call the quality infrastructure and it's there to help you. Let me explain using a bunch of bananas and some furniture. Bananas grow in many parts of Africa and are one of Africa's major trade crops. But to sell bananas, like all products, you need to produce a good product. The better your quality, the higher your price can be. But to achieve quality, you need to follow a set of rules that we call standards and regulations. As a producer, you may also be required to have official certification in place. But, while this may all sound intimidating, your local quality infrastructure is also there to help you. This normally includes local agencies that look after standards and certification, testing, accreditation and accurate measurement, which is also known as metrology. Getting back to bananas, once they have been harvested, they are taken to a packing plant to be prepared for distribution. Bananas, like all foodstuffs, have to meet your customers' quality needs and also conform to regulatory requirements. Which means that there are key checks which you have to make. The regulations say that your bananas have to be washed to remove any surface toxins. Samples have to be taken to a local laboratory and tested for things that could make them unsafe to eat. The laboratory has to be competent to do these tests, which means that they have to be accredited. The local metrology or measurement institute helps the laboratory to make accurate measurements. It's actually quite simple. Your local quality infrastructure will support you. And this is how your customer will be sure that your bananas are of good quality. Health inspectors will be sure that they are safe to eat. The retailer will be happy that they will fetch the best prices in the shops. This means that you can supply with peace of mind to customers in the city in neighboring countries and across the world. Your quality infrastructure will also assist your transport logistics company to conform to the transportation standards and regulations. When your fresh produce arrives at its destination, it quickly clears customs and gets onto supermarket shelves. Why? Because you worked with the quality infrastructure and complied with the regulations. And you also have the certificates to prove it. Now we know a bit about how the quality infrastructure works for food. Let's have a look at manufacturing. Every year we export huge amounts of timber. But if we turn our timber into products like furniture, we can sell our wood for a much higher price. We have added value. This is a story about beneficiation and how we can get good quality products into cities or foreign markets. This is a story about Ali. Ali is a self-taught craftsman. At his roadside workshop, he makes furniture which he sells to local families in the township. But his market is limited. Most days, he sees a Fern Africa delivery van passing by and wonders, what are they doing? He decides to investigate and visits their shop in town. Ali is impressed but still thinks his work is more unique. After all, his work is handcrafted. No, the shop manager explains, Fern Africa has over 100 stores in several African countries that sell the same high quality product. If Ali wants to supply Fern Africa, then his furniture has to meet their high quality needs and it must conform to the furniture standards and safety regulations. Ali needs to conform to his client's needs if he wants to supply Fern Africa. But how does Ali grow his business from a roadside workshop to a small factory? There is a way, says Fern Africa. We have a fund to foster local production and will fund you to start a small supply factory. In his new factory, Ali starts to link with the quality infrastructure. For a quality management system, Ali follows ISO 9001-2008, which means, for example, that all of his processes are documented. Ali calibrates his cutting equipment so his furniture is consistent. They are all the same size. 
His products comply with the voluntary ISO standards, which define strength, stability, and flammability needs. And he conforms to the regulations. Now, Ali can quickly deliver his first order. Good quality leads to more orders, higher prices, and Ali now supplies all of Fern Africa stores across Africa. Why? Because he has a full quality system in place that is internationally recognized which means his products can easily cross national borders. There is one final twist to our tale. Fern Africa recently opened a new shop in Paris. It was easy for Ali's furniture to take pride of place in the new Paris showroom. This proves the QI saying that accepted once, accepted everywhere. This is the end of our journey. We have seen how quality helps to get fresh produce and manufactured goods into shops in the city, across Africa, and across the world. And how the quality infrastructure and the support it gives you can help make it happen. So, to recap, your national quality infrastructure is made up of standards, compulsory and voluntary, conformity assessment, accreditation, metrology or accurate measurement and it is always there to support you